Running can take you to many beautiful places, but if you want to truly appreciate them, you need to be wearing the right shades, you know, so you can see the nature. All right, top running sunglasses from Oakley, coming at you. Hey guys, I'm Graham. I'm the Oakley specialist here at Sporter X, and I am here to talk to you about running sunglasses, obviously. Um, when running is a casual part of your routine or the thing that gets you up before the sun rises, Oakley sunglasses are gonna be the right choice. And the reason for that is lens coverage. They optimize their frames for sport, so you get a ton of lens coverage with these frames. Comfort, you wanna be comfortable when you're running. A lot of people don't like to wear things on their face when they run. I used to do a lot of trail running. Um, you need to have something that fits comfortably. That's really important, especially for those longer days. Any temple pressure, it's gonna be a no-no. You're gonna to wanna to take it off. And then the last thing is gonna be lens color. You want something that's gonna help illuminate the trail, all the beautiful things around you. Prism Trail, Prism Trail Torch are gonna to be your best options there for trail running from Oakley. Of course, there's a bunch of Prism lenses that would do well. So, if you have the right shades, right lenses, your epic runs are bound to be even more memorable and get you out of bed in the morning early to go get those miles in. Let's talk about these frames. All right, so kicking off our list is one of my favorite Oakley frames. I'm really biased. I love the Sutros. These are the Sutro Light. So I would say before I even get into this frame, all the Sutro options would be great running frames. They're very similar. We have videos comparing and contrasting all these frames, but the Sutro Light I chose because it's a semi rimless frame and it gives you this kind of unencumbered bottom view. And I really like that for a lot of my sport frames. I don't really like that lower rim. The original Sutro has a rim around the lens all the way, and it just blocks a little bit of your view in here in the peripherals and down below, but that's okay. Some people love it. The look of it is really great. So semi-rimless frame kind of feels like it isn't even there, like it's just floating on your face. Great coverage, huge wide view, so you can see everything around you, um, whether that's you know the coastal view here in San Diego. We have beautiful coastline that people love to run on, or it could be your mountains. It might just be your local path by your house. So if you love these, like I said, check out the other Sutros. SFW 136 is gonna be a large fit for everyone. And of course, remember finally, the grip on this frame is fantastic. A bunch of unobtainium here in the temples. It's gonna keep it right in your face. A nice curving grip here in the back to keep it on your head. And then of course, the nose grip that they use on the Sutros is very comfortable. I really love it. Just don't wanna take it off and leave it on all day. All right, next frame. Okay, and before we move on to the FLAC 2.0, I do wanna say, if you're enjoying this content, please give us a like below, it helps us out a ton. And if you're really loving this content, why not subscribe? Then you can have all of our content right in your feed. You're never gonna to have to go looking for it. It's just gonna be right there in front of you like a trail sign when you need it the most. Okay, moving on to the FLAC 2.0 XL. This frame right here is a fantastic Oakley frame. You see it in just about every video. You see it in a lot of our Sport or X roundups for sport. Um, there's a reason for that. It does everything pretty well. SFW of 135, which is gonna be a medium fit for men and women, kind of fits everybody unless you have a huge head or a small head. It's highly RXable, which is another benefit. And then of course you can get it in just about every single prism lens you could possibly imagine. So that definitely means trail, trail torch. Wide range of colors on the frame itself. So if you like matching up all your gear, maybe your shoes to your sunglasses, I don't know if you get that picky about your details, you can definitely do it with this frame. And of course, a ton of unobtainium grip, even more than on the Sutro Light. Nose, really simple design here. It sits right on your nose very nicely with unobtainium, of course. And of course, the construction of the frame itself, very durable, just supple enough to take a beating if it has to and uh, fit comfortably on your head. You want a little bit of flex, something too rigid, it's gonna pinch a little bit unless it's like the perfect, perfect fit. So that helps this frame be extra comfortable for those long runs. All right, moving on. So we started off our list with a semi-rimless shield frame, moved on to a non-shield semi-rimless frame, and now we have a full rimless frame here. This is the EV Zero Blades, SFW of 136, gonna be a large fit for everyone. This rimless design is really cool. I like rimless frames, especially for being out in nature. It's gonna give you a very wide, unencumbered view. You're running through Yosemite, doing a beautiful trail run, and you can see everything. The mountains above you, the streams below you, the trees around you, Great extra lens here on the peripherals so you can see everything to your sides, just in case you're gonna get attacked by a bear, you know, you'll see it coming, which maybe you don't wanna see that coming, I don't know. 
The other thing to note about this frame is that it's probably the lightest frame in front of me. It's extremely lightweight thanks to the rimless design. You still get a great unobtainium grip here in the nose. It's gonna keep it right in place. And down here on the ends of the temples, you get these nice little unobtainium arm sleeves. Very flexy and springy. It's gonna give you a very comfortable fit out on the trails. And I highly recommend this frame to our runners. It's kind of gonna do everything that you would possibly want. The one downside is that, that if you're looking for a prescription, not gonna come in this frame. So sorry if you're prescription wear, probably not the frame for you. Okay, and now another frame that I am very familiar with, if I didn't mention earlier, the FLAC 2.0 XL is like one of my first sport frames, so I love that frame. But the Radar EV Path was my second sports frame, and I love this frame as well. It does a bunch of the things that you would want for a running frame, kind of low profile, nice wide lens here, SFW of 140 for an XL fit. And this is gonna be a great running frame because of the wide coverage, fits comfortably, semi-rimless, bunch of peripheral protection here from the sun, and it's gonna be a very cool frame, not based on looks only. Um, the venting along the top of this frame between the lens helps cool down your face, which is really great, and help keep fogging down. I don't know how much you'll deal with fogging with these sunglasses, but you might have that problem with other frames when you're out in nature, depending on the temperature, humidity, all that stuff, and it's nice to not deal with that as much because of the venting on a frame like this. I really love that. The last thing to note, again, tons of unobtainium grip here to keep this in place, especially when it gets hot and sweaty. And this is just a great do-it-all frame. So if you do other sports like cycling, water sports, this is gonna be a great pick for those as well. Okay, and closing out our list is gonna be the Oakley Half Jacket 2.0 XL. This is a fantastic low profile minimalist frame. And by that, I just mean you can look at it. It's very sleek, very thin, not a huge lens, but just enough lens to kind of protect you from the sun. It's definitely a little bit small for me. Um, like I said, the flak is kind of on the smaller side for me with an SFW of 135, but if you need something a little bit smaller, this is kind of the way to go. SFW of 132, which is gonna be a medium fit for everyone. And despite this being a little bit small for me, I still feel like my eyes are getting a ton of coverage, even in the peripherals here. So. If you're looking for something very minimalist, this is the best choice on this list. Other great thing about it, it's lightweight, durable, has a bunch of unobtainium, just like all the frames on this list, but probably more than some of the other ones here. And of course, it's RXable, which is gonna be super great if you're looking for an RX prescription running frame. So this is also gonna fit well with your hat and any other head accessories you wanna wear. That's super important if you go out with your headphones, you know, um, not that sunglasses are really gonna interfere with that, but with hats and things like that, they could. This is really going to fit perfectly with them because of the thin temple arms. So I love this frame, very comfortable, maybe not perfect for me, but definitely a great low profile minimalist frame for you possibly. All right, that's gonna do it. And that's the end of the trail for our Oakley running sunglasses list. You should have everything that you need to make a great decision and take your running to new heights, where you're undoubtedly gonna have better views because of your sunglasses. Of course, remember, you can always call our opticians if you still feel like you need a little bit of help. They are super knowledgeable on all this stuff and they'd love to talk to you about running, sunglasses, and everything else that you need questions answered on. And of course, remember finally, our See Better Guarantee gives you 45 days to try these things out and make sure that you're in love with them. You're probably gonna be, so that's great. All right, see you on the trails. Oh, last thing before you go, there's more content just like this right over there. You can click on it right now. Also down below me, all of our social media links, you can see cool stuff there. We like to make cool stuff and then show it to you. All right, that's gonna do it. See you later. <laughs>